Right, there we go, that looks a bit better. For film, oh, I can filming. Oh, hello. You've caught me preparing to make this quick impromptu video just to say, hello, I'm not dead, I'm still here. And you'll know that if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook because I've been quite active on those social media platforms and I've been a bit on Twitter as well. So if ever I disappear for a while, check Facebook, check Instagram and check Twitter and you'll see that I'm still there, just not in front of you with my ugly mug. But today I have got my ugly mug in front of you, in front of the camera, because I've got a few things I'd like to say. Re my channel, re what's coming up for summer and re the plans I have for the autumn. Well, hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying your summer, or if you're watching this in Australia or New Zealand, hope you're enjoying your winter. Um, right, what's coming up for the summer? Now, to be quite honest, I've been a bit sort of on a downer regarding making videos for this channel. It happens with every YouTuber, I'm sure. You know, sometimes it's a bit, you don't want to do it and you feel you have to because you've got people who subscribe and people who like to see your videos. But I've taken a, you know, a week or two off. I feel better for it. Um, and I'm also going to be still taking a slight break over the summer. Um, and I'm going to be back in full flow in September. Now saying that though, I have scheduled, you'll probably be getting three videos a week from me starting this week with this video on the Monday there'll be a new video on Wednesday and a new video on Thursday. But the thing is, I won't be actually filming a lot over the summer. I will be doing a few new demos and some odd new videos, but a lot of what you'll see over the summer is old videos. Now, they're old to me, but they're not old to you. You won't have seen them before, but some of them have been recorded up to two years ago. What I've been doing is sorting through all the video footage I've got on my old computer and there was at least 30 videos on there that haven't seen the light of day. They haven't even been edited. So I'm going through those and I'll be uploading all of those throughout the summer on my channel. And I'm thinking of having a mini relaunch in September with a few new features, a few new um, things I'm going to be trying out. Some slightly different to what I'm doing now, but uh, you'll still be seeing much of the same content. You'll be seeing unboxings, you'll be seeing demos, but you'll be seeing other things possibly other than vacuum cleaners. But don't worry because if I do show you anything that's not a vacuum cleaner or a laundry appliance or a fan or whatever, it will be an extra video in addition. So you'll be getting a lot more content, but there'll be some different things because I've got to try and grow my channel or oh, my foot's going to sleep. I need to grow my channel a bit and attract some different viewers. But obviously I want to keep you folks, I want to keep you happy as well as attracting new people because the more my channel grows, the better it is for me and the more I can show you, the more vacuum cleaners I'll be able to buy. Um, so it's a win-win, I think, for everyone, hopefully. So I've made a list and I was quite surprised actually by the number of videos I had on my other computer. Uh, vacuum cleaners I had completely forgotten I had. So um, you'll be seeing machines like um, Dyson, there'll be lots of brands, Dyson, Hoover, Shark, AEG, SIBO, Vax, but you'll be seeing the likes of um, a brand new in the box, well it wasn't in the box, but it was brand new, Dyson DC15 Animal, that'll be coming up. There'll be a SIBO E3 video, um, Hoover Turbo Power, the vintage Hoover Turbo Power coming up. I'll have a demo of the Vax Slim Vac that uh, I unboxed absolutely ages ago. There'll be some robotic vacuum cleaners coming up, some Hoover Commercial vacuums, uh, Bissell Spot Clean Pro. There's a lot. Um, yes, yeah, some American vacuums coming up as well. Uh, a Bosch uh, GS50 demo. Samsung vacuum I've got, all sorts, oh it goes on forever. So anyway, I've scheduled, well when I get the videos edited, but I've got three videos a week actually scheduled, well right up to Friday the 7th of September, but I will be having my sort of relaunch 
hopefully on the 1st of September when you'll also see Vacuum of the Month. So I am still continuing with Vacuum of the Month. I wish I hadn't started it, but I've... <laughs> Um, I can't stop midway through the year, so I will continue to do a Vacuum of the Month feature for the rest of this year, but it's doubtful whether I'll continue that feature into next year because it's a bit too limiting. I mean, I've, I have been cheating a bit. Don't tell anyone. This is my Vacuum of the Month, if you've seen that video. It's a very quiet cleaner and it certainly picks up the pet hair, but ooh, yeah, it's very cheap. It's all, it's all right for what it is. But you see, I have cheated a bit. I have been using the Air Ram a little bit as well. And of course, that Mila. We had friends over last weekend and I couldn't clean the house using that. I would have never been able to hel hold my head up high uh, with those friends, especially, especially one. He's, uh, he's just bought himself a brand new Jaguar, well, not a brand new, a second hand Jaguar. But it was a very nice car and he does like the Mila's and things like that so I couldn't let him know that I'd vacuum the house using that Chinese made Hoover so I had to I had to vac up with the Mila Dynamic U1 which is a lovely lovely vacuum cleaner. Uh, this is coming up. Crikey do you remember this folks? Wow a blast from the past. This is still available fortunately I've seen it I think I've seen it on Amazon and Hughes website. I'm going to actually do a demo of this. It's had an unboxing a long time ago. So that's what I'm planning to do. So over the summer, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get some sun. I've already caught a bit of the sun. So it's actually been sunny for the past few days here. So it's a bit of a treat for us in the UK. So I'm going to go through my back catalogue and start making demos of vacuums you've seen unboxed a long time ago. So there'll be the Vax Slim Vac, as I said, there'll be this. There'll be the Vax Orange Tub, uh, like commercial vacuum cleaner. Uh, oh, it's quite a few I've written down. But anyway, hopefully I'll get to those as well as all the other videos. Um, oh, and there's this. I don't think you'll be seeing this anytime soon, though. This is a Dyson. I managed to get another Dyson. Lots of Dysons coming up. You'll get a few over the summer, but there's more planned for the autumn. But I've got myself... A DC05 motorhead which I'm pretty pleased about but the first Dyson you'll see uh, in the next week or so will be my Dyson DC15 unboxing well that's all I wanted to say to you so if you want to follow me on Instagram just search ibasic and you'll find me or um, you might find me under Herbert Hoover but I think if you type ibasic in Instagram you'll find my uh, Instagram feed so follow me on that and you'll see lots of updates and pictures and sneak peeks um, Twitter I always upload what I'm doing video wise on Twitter and of course I've got my Facebook page where you'll see quite a lot of things on there and also on my social media I tend to put if I see an offer if it's on a vacuum cleaner or um, if it's a particular retailer that's offering a discount, I'll normally post that on social media because it's too much to make a video just telling you that. So um, often if you want to see what um, offers are on with certain manufacturers, I try and keep my eyes out. It's mainly UK only, but I always post those up on Facebook and normally Instagram as well. But certainly Facebook is the main one that I would post that on, but lots of pictures on Instagram, not just the vacuums, other bits and pieces that go on in my life, but it is mainly vacuum dominated. So follow me on social media if you like. Um, and if you, you can make some suggestions, I can't say I will do all of them. Um, make suggestions under this video of what you might like to see in September when I have my hopefully relaunch. I don't think you'll see a great change, but I'm certainly going to be a lot more organised, I think, and just knuckle down because, you know, the video is a little bit uh, amateurish, I think. I'm just going to try and bring you something a little bit more professional than I have been. So, yeah, maybe some shorter videos as well, not quite so long. I'll still do, I know some of you don't like the unboxings, but I use the unboxings as an opportunity just to chat to you because I'll be unboxing the vacuum and I might remember something about another vacuum or the history of the vacuum I'm opening or something and I chat away um, just to impart some of my limited knowledge 
um, to make it a bit more interesting. So that's why I do the unboxings. It's mainly for the vacuum fans. I know they're quite long for normal people who just want to buy a vacuum. This video, obviously, this is just for the fans too, really, because my you know regular viewers who are just looking for a review won't won't be watching this. So that's what uh, the unboxing is about. But I will be doing trying to do more shorter, punchier demos, which will appeal to the people who just want a demonstration or a vacuum who are looking to buy a vacuum. But I won't forget the people that grew my channel from early on, and it's you who are watching now. It's the people who like vacuum cleaners in a way that the regular man or lady in the street wouldn't see a vacuum cleaner as. You know what I mean. We, we're we special. We see vacuum cleaners in a completely different light to most folk. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right, so that's it basically today. It was just to say hello, thanks for your support. I'll be back on Wednesday, or a version of me will be back. Oh yes, that's why I wanted, to, I've mentioned this on Facebook, but I just wanted to let you know if you notice a change in quality in the videos, some of the videos will not, uh, will be in high definition. I expect they'll be, most of them will be in HD, but the sound quality on some of them won't be as good because some of them are pretty old and they were recorded on older equipment. But everything from September onwards, the majority of the videos from September will be filmed in 4K. So if you can watch 4K video, either on your TV or your computer or whatever, you will be able to see vacuums in all their high, high definition glory. Right, that's it. But while I've got my camera set up, a vacuum cleaner arrived a few days ago. It's only a little one, but it came all the way from Germany. So there's a clue to the possible brand. So I'll be opening that, but it's unlikely you'll see this until the autumn, because as I said, my schedule is fully booked from now, basically, until the start of September with videos more or less I've already made, apart from I'll be doing some new demos and things like that. So, there we go, that's it. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below. And I'll see you all on Wednesday with a new unboxing video. Bye for now.